Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash heater. As a landscape photographer, I find myself hiking a lot and I can honestly say there's no better way to really experience and connect with the landscape. The physical benefits of hiking are fairly obvious, as are the photographic benefits, you know, epic views and the opportunity to create original work, but what's most surprising is the psychological benefits of hiking, the achievement and satisfaction you get from completing a route, and the pure serenity and peace and quiet that you experience when out in the wilderness completely by yourself, just like this instance here in the Lake District in the middle of winter. Hiking in the mountains always fills me with a sense of excitement and adventure. You really are at the mercy of the elements, and in this harsh landscape, the weather can change without warning. But for the photographer, this can be a good thing. Uh, I woke up um, half an hour before sunrise, looked out of the window, and it was just a pea soup. You couldn't see a single thing, so much mist. And I was, oh, I was so devastated. But the thing you need to know is things change. It's always worth getting up. We're here, look, look where we are, right? We, we are on location, okay? So there's no way I was gonna stay in bed. Um, I had to come out and have a look. Ah, it's never over until it's over. The glacier's clear, the mountains behind it have got lovely pink light on them. It has, it's happened, it happened. I didn't, I didn't, I'm just popping you down there. I didn't think that it would happen because, because, well, the weather was so bad, but this, oh, this is lovely. This is what I was hoping for. Bit of color in the sky. No, may as well not do that and not waste my battery. Uh, okay, okay. F11, ISO 100, focus on the mountain, expose for the mountain, polarizer, what more do you need?
I'd love to say that every single hike is a good hike, but that's not the case. Sometimes the weather reports can be wrong and your expectations can be too high. On this occasion, I was miserable, but it's all about how you see things. And photographic opportunities can still present themselves, even when there looks like there is no hope at all. So a couple of things. One, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to climb Stack Polly in the northwest highlands of Scotland. Um, I was hoping that the mist and clag would all clear, but it's not clearing. It's it's coming and going, but mostly staying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it's time to go. So usually it's at this point where I would turn around to the camera and say, do you know what? It doesn't matter that I didn't get a photograph. It's just nice to be out in nature. Most of the time that's true, but not this morning. It's a shame, it's a shame. Love to be happy. I love to say it's awesome and nature and out and about, up early, go for a walk. Not this morning. My bed would have been the better option. Well, I'll be honest with you, I thought I was gonna leave this morning without an image, but as I've come down the footpath, out of the cloud and drop beneath it, the views of the, the, the very thing that was killing it for me, the very thing that was destroying my morning's photography is now my beautiful subject. Terrible morning has turned into a positive morning. <sighs> Soon I'll be able to go and sleep. Not every hike needs to be a high altitude 12 mile extreme adventure. In fact, the best hikes are those shorter half day hikes where you can really tune into the landscape and take your time. Hiking doesn't have to be a solo pursuit. If you lack confidence or experience, get out there with a friend. Some of the best times hiking I've had have been with other people.
So the colours are really starting to intensify in the skies. Just gorgeous. Um, I'm just, I have my composition, so I'm just shooting it uh, as the light changes. So I'm taking a photograph every couple of minutes, give or take. Uh, same composition, like nothing's changing with my setup apart from my shutter speed. Um, and it's just so nice, such a nice morning. You know, forget photography. <laughs> you know, camping on a beach in the mountains when it's this warm and this pleasant. We have views like this to wake up to. That's what it's all about. This, this thing, that's just an excuse to be here. There are too many hiking adventures to fit into this short video. Look at this. So I have created a hiking playlist where you can watch the full versions of everything you have seen today and more. <laughs> There is a link in the description below. All right. Are, we in? Are we on? So I was just explaining about Ahmed de Blam and how you could see it through the clouds and then the SD card on this uh, GoPro was full. So I just shot a beautiful picture of Ahmed de Blam just coming through the clouds. But forget that, Everest is back in view. Look at it. Is that a black bear? Yeah, obviously. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that look back at my time out hiking with my camera. I think we can all agree that the biggest change in recent years is my haircut. It's ridiculous, we've got a monitor down here and I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at that video I've just edited and just thinking how ridiculous this looks, like a cross between Fall Out Boy and the Beatles. But um, anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about haircuts. I think I've got cabin fever probably. Um, but what was I saying? Hiking, right, yeah. Some of the best times I've had as a photographer have been out hiking with my camera. It's fantastic and if you've never hiked, or you're a bit intimidated by it, I just wanna recommend everybody to give it a go. Get a good pair of boots and plan a route. Plan it simple, it doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be high, doesn't have to be overseas, you don't need to go and hike the Pacific Crest Trail. Just something local and something that takes in a variety of landscapes and honestly, It'll change your life, man. It will change your life. It'll give you physical health, mental health, mental well-being. Uh, you'll get a great sense of satisfaction at completing a route. You'll get some great photographic opportunities. It'll make you more of a reactive photographer, which is a great thing. It's a bit adventurous. It's a bit exciting. It's You can get right into it. You can plan, you can get your maps out. You can learn map reading and topography, and you can plan the whole route to the finest detail. It's fantastic. So that, I would say, if you want to set yourself a goal for 2021, maybe hiking is the way to go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank the sponsor of this video as well, which is Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform. So instead of coding a website, which is really complicated, or hiring somebody to do that, you can basically log on to Squarespace and build your own good-looking website all by yourself, just using an intuitive drag and drop system. They've even got 24 seven customer care. So if you get stuck, give them a bell. But what I found was go on YouTube, watch a couple of videos and before you know it, you will be able to knock out a great web website with a gallery, uh, an online store. You can register your domain. So it could be like newhikingphotography.com or you know, bobthehiker.com, whatever you want, I don't know. But yeah, give it a go, um, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and you'll get a free trial. And if you like that free trial, and mind you, only if you like it, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. So there we go. 2021, get yourself some good boots. I've got a pair. 
there. They've not been used for a while. I'm hoping that's going to change. Uh, I think we're all hoping that's going to change, to be honest. Right, I'm going to shut up waffling on, and I will see you all next week.